Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We've been talking about it all week long and now this chance for snow is looming in our not too distant future. So here is what we are expecting. Rain changing over to snow pretty quickly Friday night as far as accumulations go for most of North Alabama. It's one to two inches. That's the winter weather advisory. Higher amounts through southern middle Tennessee and those higher elevations and also the possibility for or a flash freeze. That's a drastic drop in temperatures in a short amount of time with wet roads and then snow falling on top of that. We are going to be looking at some slick spots here late Friday, early Saturday. So we're just telling you that late Friday night travel is not advised. And in fact, the winter weather advisory, it's issued whenever we do think that travel is going to become tricky, which is exactly the case Friday night, Saturday morning. We do have the winter storm watch that includes our southern middle Tennessee counties, Lincoln County included in that. In the watch area, those snowfall total we're going to be on the higher in three plus inches. Most of North Alabama looking at one to two inches. I'll show you a map of that in just a second, but we've also got to talk about how nice it is right now. And just know, I've been telling you, it's not going to last. It's a gorgeous afternoon over Lake Gunnersville on the Way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network. We're at 63 degrees. It's even warmer tomorrow before the snow rolls in. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network showing that we don't need the umbrellas this afternoon through tonight. Not picking up anything right now. That's what you would expect, of course, with that clear sky, right? 40 degrees, our forecast low. Clouds are on the increase late tonight, early tomorrow morning. A little bit of fog is possible, too. We got a light wind out of the north, almost calm for most of the night. And Friday, it's going to be one of those things that unless you know that the snow is coming, you wouldn't expect it. 63 degrees at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 66 by 4. Your highs pushing the 70 degree mark. But just know that this is what is heading our way, starting with a mostly clear sky tonight. A little bit of that low cloud cover and fog tomorrow morning. This data source is trying to throw out the chance for a shower earlier in the day farther towards the southeast, not buying that entirely right now. And aside from that, it's a good mix of clouds and sun through the afternoon. There's four o'clock past four. Now to seven, you'll start to see some of that shower development here. That little thin line of shower stretching from the northeast towards the southwest. But look off towards the northwest. That's where we have that cold rear starting to move in with the cold front. There's eight o'clock. Here's 10 o'clock. So snow arriving in the shoals between eight and 10. If we get some rain ahead of that, the transition is still going to be between eight and 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Now past that point in time, the I-65 corridor, we're looking at that transition from rain to snow between 10 o'clock and midnight. You'll see that happen here as we go ahead in time. There's midnight for our northeastern counties, so northeast Alabama, midnight to 2 a.m. And a lot of the moisture starts pulling eastward here. This is pretty fast moving. 2 o'clock Saturday morning, we're pretty much done here with this in the shoals. And by the time you wake up Saturday morning, just before sunrise, Look at that brutal northwest wind. Even the clouds start breaking up pretty quickly just because it's very dry air moving in behind all of this. So here's that map that I was talking about. Southern Middle Tennessee under the winter storm watch two to three inches locally higher amounts possible and higher elevations. Most of North Alabama though expecting one to two inches of snow, but it's also going to be that potential for that flash freeze and some slick spots because of that quick drop in temperatures and wet roads that we're also very concerned about with travel Friday night. Something else that's concerning is the wind in combination with the snow. This is really going to drop visibility as the snow is moving through winds gusting 35 to 40 miles per hour. So that's going to be one of those reasons to also stay off the roads, not just the slick areas like bridges and overpasses initially, of course. Feels like temperatures. We're talking single digits and teens by the time we're waking up Saturday morning. Just a good day to stay inside basically all day long. Stay off the roads best you can. And even during the afternoon, we are struggling to crack the freezing mark. There is some sunshine in the forecast that should help melt the snow. Remember, ground temperatures are warm as well. And look at the change by Sunday. We're back in the mid 50s after starting the day near 20.